Hi, it's Chantelle here from Fibrific. This is not a usual Fibrific video where we talk about fun yarn crafting products or skills. This is me talking to you as the owner of Fibrific. So here in Australia, we're having a bit of a trying time. We have unprecedented bushfires. Um, we have a regular bushfire season. This is exponentially larger and, and more than anyone has ever dealt with before um, in, the, in, the, in the modern history of our country. We are ravaged is probably the safest way to say it. And there is so much amazing support flowing in from so many quarters of the world that it's a little um, overwhelming. It's overwhelming. And I've been trying to work out what I can do. Um, I'm in Queensland and I'm in the southeast corner of Queensland and we have been exceptionally lucky here at Fibrific. We've had no loss of life, no loss of property, no loss of pets, no loss of livestock, no loss of grazing lands, not that we have any, but there's plenty of that going on as well. We've had no loss is what I'm trying to say is other than a bit of poor quality air and the occasional little spot fire that's, you know, affected the quality of the air, we've had no direct impact here on Fibrific. But there's an emotional impact. There is me feeling like we have to do something. And I am not the only person who's feeling this. I know it. I know there's so many of us out there thinking, I have to do something. Now, it's so easy to run off and find something to do or a cause to donate to or, you know, without really looking into it. And I wanted to put my meagre monies, I don't get a lot, but my meagre funds, I wanted to put them where I felt they were doing the most use that was not being really sort of amplified enough as far as I was concerned. And for me, that comes down to Australian wildlife. We have lost over a billion animals to this fire season. And that's just what we know we've lost. When the, when the fire services are walking through and checking for spot fires and making sure everything's put out, they're finding all these injured animals that are hunting for food. They're finding animals that are not injured and unfortunately are deceased. They're finding um, animals that are alive but that have to be euthanized. And it is, it's a horrible task and there are people out there doing this task. So Fibrific is joining hands with the Animal Rescue Collective, which is also uh, who runs the Animal Rescue Collective Craft Guild over on Facebook. And what we'll be doing is um, not only are we pledging 10% of all sales from now until I stop. Also, any of you who make your purchases during this time where we're donating 10% of our sales to the Animal Rescue Collective, you'll also get one of these really cute little fibrific koala badges added to your order while the stocks last which I'm not planning in any foreseeable future. This is going to be a problem that is going on for months and months and months. These animals have no habitat to go back to, so somebody's going to care for them and somebody has to pay for their food and somebody has to pay for the fuel and the medications and the, and the um, uh, bandages and the wrappings. And while we as crafters have all joined hands so forcefully to sew and knit and crochet pouches and bags and wraps and all sorts of amazing things, I still feel that we need to be looking at a monetary gift. So currently, at the time of recording of this video, the ARC has requested people pause from making things. Unless you've pledged an item through their page, they've asked people to pause. And this is for one important reason. They're doing a stock take. They have so many donations. They need to go through them all, work out what they have, and get us to focus our making on things they still need. And while they have their amazing graphic, their green light graphic, which tells us which bits to make, and we're able to work off that, this is a way that we're able to go forward and double check that that's all right. And they have got so many donations and more inbound that they're feeling a little overwhelmed and they just need everyone to just 
pause for just a minute. Now, if you don't want to pause, you can keep creating. One of the things that they have actually mentioned over on their page is that if you're international, which a lot of you are who watch Fiberific, consider donating the items you've made to your local animal welfare leagues or whatever they're called in your country. Consider getting them ready for their fire seasons, getting them ready for their breeding seasons where there's a lot more animals out and about. You've got spring coming up, you've got a lot more babies coming through and you've got, you're going to have probably, depending on where you are, a fire season of your own to prepare for. So if you can get your local animal welfare leagues ready as well, that would be amazing. So another, uh, another amazing way that you can help is that people are creating items to sell and then donating those proceeds so that money can be put towards the fuel and the food and the postage costs of getting these things out to the different groups. Um, it sounds so terrible, but money is really what they need at the moment. Um, and they will definitely call out again when they are ready and they'll let us know what it is that they want us to make. In the meantime, Fiberific is still donating 8-ply yarn to anybody who wants it to make it. I've got pure wool undyed available. Um, I've got supplies coming on board, so keep an eye out as things are listed on those pages. Those things will also be donated to anybody who needs them to make these items. And if you make something with a Fiberific um, donated wool or donated tool um, or, or, you know, whatever, please share the post. I, wa I really want to see what we're all doing. It makes me feel so much better knowing that we're actually doing something. And doing something is hard when you don't know what to do. So these are some things that you can do. I hope this wasn't too rambly and that you understand. I'm going to recap. Fiberific will be donating 10% of all sales from the website from now until an unspecified date in the future. I will make it very clear when that date is coming up, but for now, it's going to be for some time. This is a project that's a passion project for me, and I know that this is not a short-term problem. Uh, Fiberific will also have items listed on the website that are either available cheap or free. There'll be a discount code if you want some eight-ply wool, so it's pure wool for making um, various joey pouches and things like that that I have here, it's undyed. Um, and there'll be the option to either pick it up for free if you can, or pick it up for cheap if you can afford to chip in. That way 10% of that sale also goes towards the Animal Rescue Collective. So I hope um, that you find a way forward for yourself that you feel makes you feel like you've done something and not nothing. Like me, I didn't want to do nothing. And I was struggling to work out what would be the best. So it's taken me a little while, but I think this is going to be it. Let me know your thoughts. All the links for the Animal Rescue Collective, their GoFundMes and their website will all be down below, as, as well as the fiberific.com.au link so that you can make purchases. Each week I'll be donating over to the Animal Rescue Collective and I'll be announcing those figures on the weekly live streams so we can keep track of how we're going. From those of us here at Fiberific, I want to say thank you for all of you who have encouraged the posts that I've been posting on Instagram. Um, we also want to say a big stay safe, look after your loved ones and be careful. So going forward, I'd love to see photos of your donations to your local groups. Um, and if you can get photos of any of them with animals in them, that would be even cuter, only because me, like everybody else, loves cute animals. So, um, and yeah, that's it. Sorry, you might have to hack that up, Jacob. <laughs> I didn't know when to stop. <laughs>